What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is another video for the second channel, so hopefully you guys are doing well. This video is going to be more of a voiceover for the past few days slash, I wanna say week and a half to two weeks. Everything has been going amazing. So I made some changes in my just day-to-day -day life and with some other stuff too that I'll probably go into in this video or another video. And it's safe to say that the plateau that I've been in for the past four, five, I think actually even six months has been broken and I'm very, very excited about that. So the purpose of this video is to kind of give everyone a different, I guess, idea about where I currently stand and where I'm gonna be going. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get to the lifting footage. What is going on guys? Hello, this is the third time I'm doing a voiceover for this video because it decided to just not work for me. So I'm hoping that this is the third and final time. As you guys are, seeing the title of this video and watching and, and everything and probably actually are expecting the opposite expecting me to stay uh forever week just slightly kidding but guys the plateau seems to have ended which i'm really really excited about i started implementing some changes which i'm not really sure i'll get into in this video maybe in the next video just because it is a it requires some explanation um but this is actually what you guys are seeing is two weeks ago and i went into these deadlift sessions and i've just i've been trying to find the answer i've been trying to find a reason uh as to why you know things are the way they are or were the way they were uh but i haven't been focusing on just getting into the bar and figuring out what the hell i should be doing um boom yeah i love when that happens more in these sessions i would focus on whether or not i should just try my hand at conventional again and, and figure out what de deadlift technique suits me you guys see me here going for for 405 and 405 has always been my normal working weight with deadlifts and warning signs right there when you can't barely pull it off the ground for for a single and you're having trouble getting off the ground for a single it's there we go that was that's what I was going to point out. You guys saw the frame freeze there because my chest is almost in a horizontal position over the bar, which is a big no-no when you're doing conventional pulling, or I'm, sumo, I'm sorry, sumo pulling. Um, you can see it from a backward angle right here. The chest should be almost, I won't say, well, definitely, we're, we're gonna say vertical. <laughs> And you need to be sitting back and you need to um, have the chest or have your chest behind the bar, not over it. And so I would say that watching these clips when I got home two weeks ago, I believe this is on a Monday, really almost frustrated me. And so I went into the gym two days later and tried my hand at conventional deadlifts and I'm watching my back position here. And I've always almost cringed whenever I've seen my back position during conventional deadlifts because my back just does not want to cooperate usually because I have a really, really rounded back um, years upon years of spending 16 hours a day hunched over on a desk playing World of Warcraft definitely did not benefit me in that sense. So um, my back, this is working up to three, I'm sorry, 275 right here. And usually at weights over 315, you usually really see it round, but I was trying to get my hips lower and really just trying to, to, to engage my lats as much as possible and you hear you see me work up to 345 for a set of three and you're gonna see the upper left hand corner in a few seconds that um, I went in about this was about two weeks ago um, no a week before this one upper left hand corner right there I was working at 315 for uh, I believe four reps and this is actually a 10 pound PR for me right here um, just haven't really gone back to conventional deadlifting in, in a while so I was stoked to to uh, be able to do this but they just did not feel good um also wanted to point out too that i'm i'm still curling or trying to curl at least i don't just bench squat and deadlift everybody I, and over at press i like to include a, a range of exercises and i feel like um i, I would who doesn't want to, to get a little bit more size on their arms uh, i really really like to but my bicep insertions kind of really just suck overall so i doubt that it's going to happen anytime soon but i can keep trying <laughs> Just like my squat and they keep trying so this is actually a very motivating workout for me just in a general sense squatting has been going absolutely amazing lately there's been there have been i have no complaints about my squat um if you guys recall i moved from high bar to low bar squatting about a month and a half ago and i've just been gradually increasing the weight on it so this week and this is the uh this is a week ago uh my this is working up to a top set of four by four at 325 pounds and uh really utilizing that hip circle that i purchased and i really really like it a lot it's been really helping me with my hip mobility 
but um, anyways, working up to a, a set at 325 for a 4x4, which I'll see here in a few seconds, honestly, guys, I'm as I've said many times, I'm used to training without structure, really just going into the gym, working up to, for example, this is 275 right here, after the set, I'd put 325 on the bar, or 315 uh, on the bar and hit two, three reps and then work up to one top set of 345, 355, or 365 for like two reps or one rep and then that would be my workout. I'm not used to working up to 325, 335 and, and doing three reps, four reps for four sets. That's not something I'm used to at all. And so, um, working up here, and this is a uh, this is a PR for me. This is an all-time volume PR, 325 for four sets of four. And one thing I'm really trying to uh, get used to is, is is pinning my elbows at my at my side. I feel like when I do that, I'm able to get more of a like just a better position here. Biggest change, though, overall for me when doing these squats in this section of my gym is I don't use it or I'm, I'm not looking into a mirror when I squat and I love that I love it because it's not gonna mess me up I don't know I would recommend you guys try that out any at any point if you'd like to experience a little difference for me it just it, it, it freaks me out well I'm not gonna say it freaks me out it just it psychs me out if I have a mirror in front of me and I'm literally just looking at myself squat three hundred pounds in a mirror I just can't do it so that was a big change for me um, other than that, the depth on these was a little bit questionable, but I was stoked to hit a PR again, 325 for a 4x4, and these, these just, it was, it was a brutal day, but I love, um, I love being able to constantly increase the weight on these and still, um, be able to, like, whenever I'm, whenever I increase weight on my squats before when I squatted high bar, I would, all I would see is my back just continuously just look worse and worse and worse, except for, like, that rep right there. I would say that once it gets towards the later end of the sets, for example, like this is my fourth set and these are my third or fourth reps, I'm gonna fatigue and my back is gonna fold up a little bit more. But in my opinion, I feel like this is a much better uh, exercise for me. Uh, it's suited more for me. Um, and I like these too. Really starting to utilize more stiff-legged deadlifts and I I could probably work at a higher weight with these, but I like to focus on, um, usually I focus on the negative a lot with those, but I wasn't for whatever reason. So this is, a week ago um, before I, I started experiencing my strength come back again and I wanted the purpose of these this session at least to go into the gym and just figure out okay how does my back look what am I looking like when I work up to that set that I, I showed you guys earlier with the conventional pulls at 345 so I wanted to go in and I'm gonna show you here in a few seconds how my back looks when I'm doing 345 versus 345 uh, on uh, sumo deadlifts, so conventional versus sumo. And you'll see right here that my back during my sumo sets at 345 looks way better. So we have 345 in both clips. And I feel like my upper back just rounds slightly um, in my sumo deadlift, but it definitely rounds um, during my conventional deadlift. So I, I'm, but I should just say, I'm looking at my overall back and it just, in my opinion, looks better during sumo deadlifts. So um, this is, again, my probably my most disappointing day of the like look how slow that moves off the floor like just it's it's not looking right at all and i could tell as i pulled this third rep i was like there's no way i'm gonna get this for three sets or four sets there's no way so guess what happened couldn't even get the the, the damn bar off the floor for uh, my second set there for not even one rep so after that, I was like, you know what? Screw this workout. Everything is done. I'm done. I, I'm over powerlifting. Going to start CrossFit. Just kidding. Didn't actually think that, but I definitely was over the day. And I was pretty convinced that nothing was going to, nothing was going to happen. I was just, I was over it and I was just, I was ready to just move on. So I just worked at 255 for pause squats afterwards. And uh, again, I should probably be increasing uh, the weight on these if my, my back holds up. Last rep was a little bit questionable. Now we move on to this week. So I felt like a new person this week and um, I really wanted to go into this week and try my hardest at, at going, at just implementing a bunch of cues with my, with my pause bench. Um, and I'm wearing my belt on these just because I wanted to want you guys to see my arch in, 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 uh, you know, if you guys have anything that worked for you, definitely be, feel free to share in the comments below. Um, but what works for me is really doing this and getting my, my feet. Um, and it, I'm not really worried about my feet being flat on the floor. Um, despite what many of you seem to think, uh, it's not required, but for me, this gets me more leg drive and it gets my arch going. And look at the speed, upper left-hand corner of 165 
for four or five last week and his speed of 185 this week. I felt tremendously, tremendously more powerful this week. And I was just amped to, um, I got, I believe I did 185 for five in that first clip and then 185 for three or four here and then got five on my last set. But this is the speed upper left hand corner of what it looked like last week. And that was pretty much touch and go last week. And I'm pausing him here, trying to at least. Um, elbows look flared out. Everything was just last week was just not there. But I, I got through it and, and fought again this week and just really felt amazing after this workout because I was able to uh, get more. That was a touch and go rep for sure. But get more just cues into my head and, and try my my hardest to, to just keep working, working at it and keep giving it my all. So I, of course, am not blessed with... Uh, Let's just say that I'm I'm actually cursed with really, really long arms, as I've said many times, and so the bench is kind of a weak point for me. And afterwards, guess who the week after, it took me one week after the last deadlift clips that you saw, and I went back into it, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try sumo again. And the speed off the floor is tremendously better. Everything just felt amazing about this workout. I knew going into this one that I was going to to get what I wanted, which was was consistent sets. And I knew by the way that these felt that I was gonna I was gonna do better at my deadlifts today. And uh, this is a few days ago. Um, still, you know, my back from this angle doesn't look the greatest, but I'm still learning to to sit back. And um, a really good cue for me to actually do for these is actually looking directly up. And when I do that, I feel like my spine is in a better position. This is a uh, better angle just from the side. And uh, I'm not really ashamed to post clips of my deadlifts from the side. Um, my back is, you know, it's, it's always gonna take work, but I feel like I'm, I'm still uh, I'm progressing. And um, yeah, I'm happy with it. And uh, this is actually two days ago hitting, uh, I was normally gonna increase my, my squat from, I would normally do it from 325 to 330, but I was not gonna, I didn't find any of the micro load plates here at my gym so I was like you know what I'm going to put 335 on the bar so this is a 10 pound PR so 335 for a 4x4 and uh, honestly guys it's gotten to the point where I, I get 335 on the bar and I wouldn't complain if I had just more mass on my upper body um, I'm sure you guys can see that I've, I've gained body fat through my my shirts that I'm wearing and I you know sure I have love handles and all that but um, I honestly I could probably use like I would feel more comfortable when I'm squatting heavier amounts of weight if I had more size on my frame um, and um, I would be comfortable with that and I'd feel better and you know I've told you guys before the powerlifting for me is about sustainability and it's also about um, you're not necessarily gonna be comfortable in fact you're very rarely gonna be comfortable but it's just those those things matter to me more uh, now is in strength in, in everything and I'm not really going to be concerned this is not going to be a body image rant at all but I'm not going to be concerned with um, adding a few more pounds here and there you know um, so I'm, I'm really excited about just my potential with with powerlifting and eventually doing a meet this year and uh, I really wanted to make sure that I went into this workout but also just being safe with everything um, it was kind of weird because I felt like this workout these reps looked a little bit more solid than the ones the week before and that was kind of perplexing to me because 325 was it's obviously lower than 335 so um i don't know maybe i was just i was more motivated during this session than anything because i was just like nothing was going to hold me back you know um i was just wanting to just get into the bar and, and squat unfortunately and you'll see the depth is a little bit questionable here but i didn't um I don't know. I was just I was having a really hard time finding a position for my the bar on my back, and it just did not want to be found for whatever reason. So I unfortunately didn't get to um, you know I, I I would say that my depth again is just a little bit questionable, but it's, it was questionable because I was trying to fucking figure out a elbows and b where the bar would be or should be on my back, and it's I've been squatting for a month and a half now low bar, and I'm still trying to find. Uh, the right cue for that. If I move my grip out a little bit wider, I feel like my thumb starts hurting on my right side and that pisses me off. And I, you know, it, it's just hard to get com comfortable in the low bar position for me. On the high bar position, I could literally just put the bar on my upper traps and I'm good. But I just, I didn't want to squat like that. So again, you know, a few things could be, to, could be better for these sets, but when I have this much weight on my back guys and I'm going down and I'm going up, I'm just, 
I'm, I'm pretty happy with with what I've done, uh, what I did during these sets. So um, again, this is a this is a four x four, so this is an all time volume PR for me, and I'm excited because things are finally heading in the right direction. And uh, if you guys want to see more workout footage and just more clips like this, definitely feel free to let me know down in the comments below again. Um, or if you guys just have any just general advice or tips that you would like to share that could help me or others, definitely feel free to let me know or anyone else know in the comments below. Um, we're going to be testing my five my five by fives for everything this week. At, we'll be working at 75%. So get some numbers over to Omar and then get the program back and, and running again. So thanks again for watching the video, guys. I'm going to let this last clip play out, and I will talk to you guys very, very, very soon.